Welcome to the Code Babes Programming Virgin course. In this course, all you need is a text editor, a computer, a browser, and your brain. This course explains basic programming concepts used in languages like Ruby, Python, PHP, and others just with minor differences in syntax and nomenclature. Preferred nomenclature. We use JavaScript in this lesson because it's a good language to start with. It's based on C like a bunch of other languages and your browser understands it. We'll show you how to write it directly in the browser. Programming languages are just a tool, a means to an end. Once you master the concepts of programming in a language or two, it makes it a little easier to learn new ones. Just like if you're good at picking up babes. Once you figure it out, it doesn't matter who the next one is, right? I'm sure you're all regular Casanovas. First, let's add some JavaScript to a basic web page. We've got an HTML page already written on our directory on our desktop. We just need to add a JavaScript file named script.js inside our website directory. Okay, open the HTML file and add the script tag between the head tags. We do this by writing the script tag, then source equal to the path of our JavaScript file in relation to this HTML file. Since they're in the same directory, we can just write the name of the file script.js. When the browser sees this, it knows there's some JavaScript up in here. You can name your JavaScript file whatever you want, but script.js is pretty common. That's a good way to add JavaScript to a page. If you wrote some JavaScript in here, it would load when you open this HTML file. But let's explore an even easier way to start writing JavaScript. Everybody likes easy, right? Open the file with Chrome. On a side note, Chrome is an awesome browser to use, but as long as you're not using Internet Explorer, you're in pretty good shape. If you use Internet Explorer, you're definitely not getting my number. Once you're in Chrome, you need to open the JavaScript console. Go to View, Developer, then JavaScript Console. There's also a keyboard shortcut. If you're getting into programming, start learning keyboard shortcuts. They're super sexy. Now we have a console to frolic in. This is similar to the command line. It allows you to write JavaScript commands that the browser will interpret. Let's start with some math. Math is sexy. We can do one plus one and it will output two. Easy, right? We can get more complicated too, like 20 plus three times three, which equals 69. So then we would type, ha ha ha, cause we're all pretty immature. Except if you do that and hit enter, you'll get an error. This is because JavaScript doesn't know what ha 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 is. We want it to be interpreted as the word ha ha ha, a string in programming lingo. Numbers are known as integers. Strings and integers are common throughout programming. If a number has a decimal attached, then it's called a float. The thing with strings is that they need to be enclosed in quotes. If it's not in quotes, JavaScript doesn't know whether the text is a command, a variable, or in this case, a string. Strings can be numbers too, like a phone number. We don't want a phone number to be treated like a regular integer, so we wrap it in quotations and make it a string. You can also put together two strings like hey girl or you had me at hello world with the plus sign. Hey girl. But make sure you have a space after hey girl. In programming lingo, putting stuff together like this is called concatenation. Let's get a little freaky. We can use built-in JavaScript functions to make things more interactive. Let's write alert parentheses then the string stop playing with yourself in quotes. Hit return and this pops up an alert in the browser. If you want to run that command again in the console, you can just hit the up arrow on your keyboard. A function is just a bit of code that you can use over and over again to do all kinds of stuff. Programming languages have built-in functions, but you can also write your own, which we'll talk about later. That's it for the intro to programming. Next lesson, we'll talk about our first topic, variables, and I'll turn up the heat.